like usual, I'm going somewhere else today. Y'all never believe it, but today I'm going to a comedy show. It costs $8. I saw it on that Groupon um, app that I was telling y'all about that I went to that circus. And I was like, bro, well, let's see what that's about. You know what I'm saying? So I could have choose out of uh, going to downtown Dallas and downtown Fort Worth. Uh, Helen Hong is the one in Fort Worth, which is the one I'm going to. And then some dude named Brett Polina is the one in downtown Dallas. Um, they're known actors, like on social media and in the comedy world. And you got to reserve your, your spot. So after you pay your $8, you got to reserve. And the one thing they did say that they don't say on the Groupon is they say you got to purchase two items. I told them boys, I'm vegan. So, I, like, I'm going to purchase something that's toxic if I'm vegan. And they told me I could just, like, order water. So I'll just be purchasing two water bottles. So they said two items per person. So that's what I'm going to do with that. Um, of course, I just told y'all I'm going to the one in Fort Worth. I don't know if I can record or not. They probably not gonna let me, who knows? So I'm just gonna record what I can. And that's pretty much it. Uh, like, share, subscribe. Let's get straight to the video, you did. Y'all, I'm in downtown Fort Worth again. It is literally, the place is right by um, the conventional center where the circus was. So the circus and the comedy show kind of right next to each other. I tried to go to the same parking lot we went to yesterday and it was packed. So I'm already knowing I cannot park right there. I gotta find a new parking. I probably gotta pay today. But I only pay $8 for this show. So it only costs $8 to do this. Hopefully I ain't gotta pay admission to get in the actual place. Like, cause it's, a, it's at a club. So hopefully I don't gotta pay to get in the club. Cause I didn't come here to go to no club. I came here just for the comedy show. But yeah, I'm gonna try to figure it out. I might have to pay for parking today. I don't mind though, cause the ticket was cheap. Downtown Fort Worth. Y'all, I was finna pay $12 to park over here somewhere. It's like a across the street. And at the last second, I went behind this apartment and I saw like a little parking spot like on the side, like over here kind of, it's in the dark, you can't tell. So now I gotta remember whenever I go places now or any event, I gotta pay for parking, bro. Like I just gotta put that in the budget, bro. Whenever I'm buying something now, cause it's definitely more convenient to be closer up, but I don't mind walking. It is cold though. But yeah, I'll check back in. God, nigga, with frostbite, you dig? I'm in the slides. Like I always say though, even though it's cold, did you really go to an event if you didn't walk downtown or whatever city you in? Finally got in. I think it's a long line. I'm not sure. But I gotta wait for right now until they let us inside. Question. Just got to the definitely seats. not first or second. That's yeah. for sure. Definitely he's, more people than I thought. He's in the military come. and he's away a lot. Oh so. well, thank you for your service, first and foremost. <laughs> oh my God, I love your Christian mingle energy. I just love it. <laughs> you guys are awesome. These are great, great nights. Uh, let me ask you: Any Asians in the crowd? Anyone? <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I love my girlfriend because my ex-girlfriend sucked. <laughs> she would always pressure to marry me. She'd always say stuff to me like, please, Christian, I need citizenship. And <laughs> that's your... Keep it going for Christian, you guys. <laughs> Hi, you guys. I just want to let you know that I'm Christian's mom. <laughs> <laughs> you got to work harder, honey. <laughs> the other day, my car wouldn't start, so I had to use jumper cables. Did I use those, Bruce? Okay. <laughs> Did you read a book on how to do it? <laughs> well, I didn't know how to hook them up. I know it goes under the hood, SMU. <laughs> but it's a big hood area. But I find all the battery things. I got one. Okay, one goes here. So the other one, well, let's go. <laughs> That's wrong. <laughs> That's the wrong place. The place with the fire, that is wrong. 
Because if your hair goes, you, should, you messed up. Because it shouldn't hurt to start your car. <laughs> Even though Cliff, it shouldn't hurt. You wouldn't want to go anywhere. Hey, Linda, it's time to go. <laughs> hurt me. <laughs> and he's like, well, the black thing goes on the ground. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Nothing happened. Except this little squirrel comes by. He's like, hey. I'm like, are you okay, little buddy? It's like, you almost killed me. And now I can talk. And then I have like three little squirrels in my front yard and they're all going, do me, do me. I mean, <laughs> What's up, fuckers? <laughs> Holy shit, Fort Worth! Why is it so fucking cold? What is happening? I got off the plane. I'm like, Jesus Christ! I live in LA. I did not bring long johns. What the fuck is happening? <laughs> This is my yeah. first time ever in Fort Worth. <laughs> I've played this club in Dallas a bunch of times, but I've never been to Fort Worth, and um, it's it's a thing. It's like there's a lot going on because we've been through some shit, right? We've been going through some shit. The last three years have been fucking bullshit. <laughs> Sucked. I don't know if you guys had a rough pandemic, but I had a rough fucking pandemic. It was tough, it was tough. I mean, I it was like, are, is the pandemic over? I don't even know, are we still in it? I'm not even sure what's happening. Yeah, some people are saying yeah, some people are saying no. I am, I feel like we're still maybe still in it, but at least we're past like the scariest part of the pandemic. The scariest part to me was the great toilet paper shortage. <laughs> 2020. Remember that? Remember when people got into fist fights at Walmart over toilet paper? That's when that's when you realize like America is a spoiled country. Because the stores never ran out of food. Remember that, right? Like a Walmart always had food, but toilet paper. Oh shit, that, that, that was the priority. Like, none of us ever thought we were gonna starve to death. But crusty asshole, oh, that's some scary, that's some scary shit, get it? Comedy. My parents thought that the toilet paper shortage was the most ridiculous thing they had ever seen. My parents grew up nearly starving to death as children during the Korean War. So when they saw that there was plenty of food, but people were getting into fist fights over toilet paper, they were like, what the fuck is up with that? <laughs> Do American people know that if you shit in your house, that you can just jump in the tub. <laughs> and how long were you with each other before you got married? Seven years. Oh, she's she's been now. She's she's like seven fucking years. <laughs> she came right out. She was like about fucking time, asshole. Seven fucking years, Mister Shit or get off the fucking pot. Like she, ooh, she came in right away. Seven years, eight months, and three days, fucker. She was pissed. Y'all, I just got done with the show, Helen. Whatever her name was, she was funny. The people before her was even fun, funnier. Well, nah, nah, they weren't funnier, but they definitely was funny too, man. It was three performances. The whole show was something that I definitely have to go back to, bro. That is funny. If you want to take somebody somewhere, take them to a comedy show, bro. That is so funny, bro. You will laugh from the start to the finish. I can't make this up. As far as the food, you had to you had to get two items, right? So what I did was got two water bottles, but they ended up taxing on the water bottles. 
as I figured, three dollars each. So I came out about seven dollars just for two water bottles. So imagine if I would've got food. You definitely would've got taxed about 20, 30 dollars worth of food. That's almost like a 30 dollar parking ticket. So gotta be careful on that. Don't spend no money on there. Definitely eat before that and just order two water bottles. So what I did, you come out of seven. But uh, other than that, man, I'm coming back. And I heard that you get free uh, invites there. So if they send me an invite, I gave them my information. I'm definitely going back because that was too funny, man. Good experience. I'll definitely go back to the circus. I'll definitely go back to the Mavericks game. And I'll definitely go back to this comedy show, man. Uh, I'm going somewhere next. I'm not going to tell y'all. I'm going to just wait till I go. But uh, y'all just stay tuned. Like, share, and subscribe, man. And I'll talk to y'all next video. You dig?